The correlation between medical necessity and reimbursements. This is the core of everything you need to know. So the ability to satisfy the medical necessity criteria according to the payer in question, because again, remember, they may have different requirements for um, medical necessity, will directly correlate to the number of days authorized for treatment. You can't get the days for treatment. Your UR cannot do anything um, to get you authorized days without a clear description of the symptomology attached to the medical necessity. What is this person experiencing? What is this client feeling? Um, and not only are, okay, so a lot of times I see in the chart, they're, they're, they say they're okay, but they've been using a lot. They, they just need to kind of um, get a place to stabilize. That is a complete denial. Let me be the first one to tell you, you need specific symptomology and it needs to correlate specifically to the ACM dimension and you need to determine why is it if they're experiencing this that they couldn't do it at a lower level of care. That is your goal. So the first question insurance is going to ask is why can't they do this on an outpatient level? Well, they've been using about $100 worth of dope every day for the last 18 years. And so no, this is not going to go very well in the outpatient level. <coughs> But this is information that we talk about around the treatment team table and we, we conceptualize with our doctors, but this is not information that's necessarily going into the chart. And if this is not documented appropriately, there's no way to ensure that you're gonna get the dates authorized to begin with. And then we realize that even getting them authorized does not guarantee any level of payment. 